Welcome to Chamber Exchange, a TV show. My name is Tim Murray, President and CEO of the Worcester Regional Chamber of Commerce. And Chamber Exchange, a TV show, is an opportunity for us to have guests to talk about issues of economic development, job creation, and uh, public policy here in central Massachusetts. And the show is made possible by our sponsor, Bank Hometown. Uh, really happy to have with us in our first segment, Eric Busenberg, who is the President of Euro-American Worldwide Logistics. Eric, welcome. Yeah, thanks for having me, Tim. So, uh, you know, people who may be uh, not in the logistics uh, business uh, may not be familiar with, with, with Euro-American, but it's a third generation Worcester-based business uh, at Worcester Regional Airport. Maybe you could just give a little history of the company and, and kind of how, how and why it was founded. Sure, it was started in 1966 by my grandfather. Uh, after World War II, he started uh, some businesses in the logistics field. Worcester was a great manufacturing city back then, and so he saw the need for uh, local shipping and warehousing. Started up several companies. One of them is Euro American, and my grand my uh, parents ran it for 30 year years or so. And then this is a third generation leadership. All right, and as you know, the economy has transitioned one from kind of uh, very heavy on manufacturing, and we talk about that the important role that it continues to play. But at one time, it was the dominant industry, still one of the top four. Uh, the economy has evolved and shifted a little bit, more dependent on uh, healthcare, life sciences, uh, and uh, you've put together a growth strategy uh, towards that end. Yeah, it's it's all f falls under the same manufacturing umbrella, and the life sciences, Massachusetts, uh, with your help. Uh, the Patrick Murray administration, so thank you, Tim, yeah. <laughs> did a great job enticing these companies to come to Massachusetts. And now that they're here, you have to plan for success. And, and you know, in relating to, to the life science, and I want to come to that, but you know, one of the things that you, you, you know, the physical location that you have at the airport, um, you've got some unique features there in terms of uh, customs clearing. You're able to kind of do, and, and, and that's, that's not a thing anyone can do. It's a a federal designation, and then also you have a variety of different spaces. So as you move this, these valuable goods and materials, uh, some of them need certain types of uh, atmospheres and, and controls, uh, and others don't. So maybe you can just talk about kind of the unique features. You're right. We offer a convenient platform for manufacturers. So if they're sourcing their materials from around the globe, we will arrange the transportation, the international transportation, whether it's by air or sea. And then we have our own customs brokerage department, so we can clear the, the materials in, through U.S. Customs ourselves. And because we have the 40,000 square foot facility, we're bonded, so we can bring the materials straight to our facility. And they can remain there. We have temperature controls, so if it's temperature co control products, say pharmaceuticals or any other perishables, mm -hmm. They'll come to our facility. They can remain there. If FDA needs to inspect them, we are an FDA inspection site. And once they're cleared through FDA and U.S. Customs, then we'll either distribute them to the final um, consumer or directly to to our client. And you know, you, we learned a lot. I think during you know, even the, the average you know person, you learned a lot during COVID about how important supply chains and, and logistics and the movement of goods and materials. Uh, you know, whether it be, uh, you know, personal protective equipment and, and things that companies needed, certainly, you know, the development of the vaccine and, and other kind of drugs that the life sciences and biotech industry looks to develop to uh, help with cures and therapies. Those all involve a whole host of ingredients, you know, kept in the right conditions, the integrity uh, uh, maintained, and increasingly life sciences and biotech companies are realizing the importance of that uh, and looking to do more manufacturing here in the United States as well. It hit the life science world especially hard because what the common practice was, was to outsource to save some money. As long as supply chain is running smoothly, then there's no problem. But as soon as COVID hit, that shut the entire supply chain down and that stopped production of pharmaceuticals. Uh, so the life science industry has said this will never happen to us again. Uh, the Biden administration has put some uh, policies in place as well to encourage the reshoring of the manufacturing. Uh, the administration here in Massachusetts is, is backing that as well. 
and bringing it here now avoids any future concern. Yeah, and that's uh, you know important distinction. You know, manufacturing. There's the traditional manufacturing that we think of uh, in in, in, Ma in Massachusetts and Worcester and the United States, still important. But manufacturing has grown to include things like uh, the research and development of pharmaceuticals. They're increasingly making them here, and that's where kind of the movement of the the materials to make them. Once the products are made, they're shipped uh, in the appropriate way. And as a result of, of that, uh, you're expanding. We are expanding. So because of that reshoring, the demand for other services here in Massachusetts has increased. In order for Massachusetts to sustain success, it needs to achieve critical mass. It's a term that we all are familiar with. And to get to critical mass, we need to have support structures in place that will harness the growth of the industry. So we're doing our part. To give you an example of one of the, the hurdles that this growth brings upon the manufacturers is as they're growing, they're, they're running out of space. And so now they have two options. One is either to build additional mm -hmm. infrastructure, which is a big commitment, time and money, or to outsource to a third party. And that's what we're providing the industry. Right. And that's kind of the evolution, right? Initially, I think a lot of the, the life sciences and biotech industry in Massachusetts you know, initially it was about uh, research and development and, and then contracting out that manufacturing. And clearly, you know, back uh, in our first term in the, in the Patrick Murray administration, we saw that grow. The billion dollar life sciences bill was to accelerate that growth. And that uh, has taken place, but now you see companies, the next level beyond the research and development is the manufacturing of, of the pharmaceuticals themselves. Uh, and that requires a whole logistical element and, and is kind of the, the, the outgrowth of that. So you're, you're not only able to kind of ship but store them in a way that those companies are confident that the integrity of what they've made uh, you know, won't, won't, won't be uh, in any way compromised. That's exactly right. And for proximity matters. So if Massachusetts is going to have manufacturing, you also have to have all those supporting services within proximity of the manufacturing plant. So one of the, uh, I'll give you an example of a local manufacturer in Massachusetts, they're out, we're in talks with now, we're, they're outsourcing their materials as a, to where they're being stored is all the way out in Ohio. Mm -hmm. That doesn't work for manufacturing because now they're waiting one to three days to get those materials in house. If there's any emergency you need for those materials, they're shutting down production for one to three days. So it's not cohesive with the manufacturing process. They need to ramp up their production. They need those materials nearby. Euro American is within one hour of the vast majority of the manufacturers right. in Massachusetts. So we run 24 hours, seven days a week. When they need their materials, it doesn't matter if it's two in the morning, they'll, we'll be there within one hour. Right, right. And as, as the life sciences industry's grown here, uh, you know, we talk about here locally, we're lucky to have AbbVie, you know, over a thousand employees. They do research and development and some manufacturing on site. We have, uh, you know, Wuxi Biologics building a 200,000 plus square foot building, I think 300 jobs, a, a bio manufacturing company there. So you've added 20,000 square feet as the life sciences, biotech, bio manufacturing grows. Are there plans for future growth. Absolutely. So this is phase two of three phase growth plan that we're undergoing. Uh, we set it for a five year target and we are on, on target with that. We're on pace. Uh, building this 20,000 square feet, it gets us to phase two. Now phase three begins. We're looking at a 100,000 square foot facility. The demand continues to come in. The manufacturing base continues to grow. So as that grows, what we're doing as our part is we'll grow with the industry to make sure that we're supporting its growth. And, and consistent, you know, with the role that uh, your Americans played, you know, Central Mass, Worcester, uh, a logistics distribution hub in a lot of different areas throughout uh, New England and throughout the Northeast, and you're doing it now nationally and internationally, so good stuff. Uh, Eric Busenberg, who is the president of your American Worldwide Logistics, also a member of the Worcester Regional Chamber of Commerce Board. Thanks for being with us. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Okay. And we're going to come back right in our next segment of Chamber Exchange. Stay with us. These days, you've got your hands full in life. That's why we help you bank simply and securely 
with tools like Face ID and Touch ID. It's why we make it easy to make purchases on the go and get cash back while you're at it. Why we help you quickly deposit checks wherever you are. And it's why we lend a hand with sending and receiving money right from your phone. So even when you're on the move, you can manage your finances. Bank Hometown. Unlock your potential.